Hello there, and welcome to January 2021. Yesterday we had the news, um, well my yesterday recording this, of the lockdown in the UK. So many hearts, so many feelings I can feel across the nation right now, in the UK, in the United Kingdom, England, is that many people are, are suffering. Many people are, are doing okay. Many people are with family, friends, you know, luckily the internet is here to help us keep us mentally okay by watching the things that we love, listening to the things that we love, doing the things that we love, connecting. However, the, the times of the economy is very much on the horizon. I'm not here to talk about any conspiracy theories. I'm not here to save you. I'm just wanting to share a message to you all that right now we all need hope. And I wrote this uh, in, in a message just before New Year's. I had a few uh, visions come into me about things that were going to get worse. And I just want to tell you that if you think it's getting worse, then just really concentrate on yourself. This time is a, a time for being content on your own, in your own space, really owning your own power. And I know there's a lot of people out there who who miss going out, partying, having escapism, um, you know, escaping their environment, escaping their home. And, and home is, it's here. And not just in your heart, it's in your energy field, it's in your presence, it's in this moment. And the number of years that I've learned about spiritual, spirituality and consciousness and emotions and it all comes back down to the source of our understanding and our problems too, our traumas, our, our triggers, the things that irritate us, motivate us, you know, create conflict in our lives come from the source of our actions. And if we can harness those, no matter how things are going to be tough for weeks to come or years, months. We don't know how long this pandemic is going to be at these current times. Whenever you're watching this anyway, this message will help you in some way to become more grounded in yourself. Now, I'm not perfect. I say it to many people that, hey, look, you know, I have my fears, I have my traumas, I have my past, I have the things that trigger me. I'm human, you know, I'm allowed to experience pain or a bit of suffering in my life but there's a lot of happiness there is a lot of content and I just want to share a bit of my wisdom and things that help me to be more relaxed now there's a there's a book that came out many years ago called the fuck it way <laughs> and it really is like we can be so much stubborn in ourselves that we want things to go some way and when it's out of our control the only thing we can do is just fuck it and like we just have to deal with what it is and that's exactly what we have to do right now is just surrender and just allow things to happen as they are now i'm aware that many people are struggling to get food on their plates because of not having work however they have food reach out to people who you need help with if you are alone at these times then do something about it like don't be on your own reach out don't think that you are being a pain to anybody just reach out to people and say hey look i don't want to be on my own during these times like can i live with somebody support each other have that support bubble was what we're told by by the governments and people but the most important thing to value at this time of where well, we can't go out and work or we can't leave our homes only for essential items and like health or food or a bit of exercise is that we're going to be inside a lot. And this is something I was dreading during these times when it's cold and 
Some people don't have heating or it's taken a lot of money to have heating. All these things that go through, people, through people's heads, through their minds, a bit of a suffering and concern. But really, what I say to you is that out of all this, all this negative stuff that's happening last year, 2020, and now, 2021, is that we're heading into, we're a part of this evolution of Earth where the coronavirus has in fact helped people in some ways, emotionally and spiritually, to be okay, you know? Some people have had more time, a lot more time for themselves, sometimes not in the right way or the best way. However, these times have been very beautiful for people to to go within and it's a time to really reflect and be strong. I know for myself that last year was a very intense time for me. I was very lonely um, physically. Um, going to work, I had people around me but they were very far away. My family kept distance from me physically and all I wanted was just a bit of, a bit of presence. It wasn't back until June, July that I really had my first sort of physical connection and that was going to the dentist and having somebody there just even if you know just I know they were going inside my mouth and checking and doing a checkup but just having that presence of someone next to you you know just it felt warmth it felt warming however the rest of the year had been very like lonely physically and it didn't take a toll on me as such i just got on with things in the garden building fixing my home learning about things working a lot um, learning spanish le doing six different courses online um, to enhance my academia you know my knowledge and you know, of, of you know in the universe of health and everything and in, in that process of, of like lockdowns and um, social distancing, it, it, I became a lot more happier being on my own, like content, you know, being okay, because I had to be. I didn't enjoy it so much, like I got used to being, I've always been on my own for many years, like a very lone wolf, not always having a lot of friends around. And I'm not asking you to be sorry for me anything, it's just what it is. You know, I've had friends here and there, but I haven't had anyone being consistent. And living in the country is the downfall of that. It's beautiful here and it's being here in the country has been great because we have a retreat center surrounded by nature and we it was just it was just nice during the lockdown because it felt okay, but then my heart went out to those who were stuck inside homes, flats, small houses, with the people that they probably didn't want to be with. So I gained a lot of my emotional muscles, I guess, of being content on my, in myself, with, with myself, and you know, my own routines were, I just got on with it. And it made me stronger in that, in that sense, and made me more independent, depending on myself, rather than wanting a hug or that physical attention that we need. And it's not in an ego way. We, we all need that physical belonging, you know, nurturing with our, our parents, our loved ones. And the, you know, physical touch is one of the love languages that we have, you know, where we, we like words of affirmation, we like giving gifts, we like receiving gifts, we like uh, being attentive, we like giving. We like being in service to others, helping, you know, fix things and doing things out of the love that we have. But we can't do that from far away. You know, we can ring people. We can check in on them and make sure people who are vulnerable um, are okay. Mental health has been on the rise for, for many, many years, but more so the last couple of years and even more so since last year of... of you know, the dark times, the coronavirus, when things started to crash with the economy and, you know, people's lives and people, you know, having to deal with addictions and, and things on their own and, and lack of money. But 
but there have been many many positives out of these times you know people who who would go spend lots and lots of money um, just to not face them at their own emotional problems and now they're saving money because they can't go out and do things um, being social was great but we also need that time to go within ourselves and I guess some people don't have enough of that like they're always out they're always partying with friends they're always doing something and they're never really with themselves so I believe globally especially for the United Kingdom because I've been here I haven't been anywhere else so I can see what's going on is that yes people are unhappy in some ways but it's utilizing this time to what can I do what can I make the most of this time right now how can this time benefit me and I'm not talking about me I'm talking about an individual in this time whatever again even if the coronavirus if you're watching this now and it's ended many <laughs> much many years time after this or however long um, if this situation happens again or it's happening right now then it's like well what can this situation teach me you know what can I do to be okay in this time it's like what can I do to be relaxed at the same time be independent and face my fears face my problems and what I've always found with helping people like clients, uh, friends, um, people who have given therapies to, when they actually face their fears, it's not sometimes as bad as they thought. So don't be scared of these times. It can be scary. Being out is actually, I think, the worst thing to, to do because you are constantly with a, with a mask, you have to social distance, um, and you're seeing life as it is, like the the new the, the new way of being sociable, uh, anti-social, you know, physically, like social distancing, and you know, people are freaking out, being too close to you. Some people don't don't mind. Everyone's different, you know. There are vulnerable people, and masks as well. Masks is is something that really has detached us, but also. It's made us realize how much we rely on looking at lips, you know, facial contact. That when someone has just their eyes just here, then it's like, what are they doing? Are they, are they smiling at me? Are they looking? Um, I remember when I was going through some shots before in the past, the beginning of the pandemic, and I wasn't wearing a mask. I wasn't rebelling. I was just like... I don't know what's going on here. Like, it turns to wear a mask, but why? I didn't see any evidence of anything. So I'll just be going through shops and just, you know, smiling at people and people at masks. And maybe they were smiling at me or giving me like evils. I don't, I don't know. But something that um, someone came, uh, a, a friend of, of my, my, my parents, um, you know, he had said something quite wise. You know, and it's always important to listen to our elders. And he says, well, when, when I wear a mask, it's not about protecting me. It's about giving people respect. Like, I, I respect you that, you know, you want me to wear a mask. I'm wearing it because of you, not because of me. And I was like, that's, that's quite a positive thing to think about. So it's like, no matter how tough life gets, no matter how negative and uncomfortable what it is we just have to see the positive and the, the happy times within these times because life is full of beautiful opportunities i recently saw a film called soul uh, you can find it on disney plus um i got disney plus not because of disney movies but because of star wars watched the whole um marathon all nine movies um 10 movies <laughs> and the mandalorian again um in the past like couple of weeks and it was beautiful um so much wisdom in there and just it's an escapism you know just watching something that's sci-fi and not news and everything i don't really watch the news and um so yeah anyway sorry i i was i watched this film called soul and in there had some you know really beautiful i've lost my train of thought now um, while I was saying about the soul, never mind. 
Um, anyway, so go watch it if you can. It's a beautiful movie. Um, it's about new souls that go to Earth and they get personalities uh, and everything. Oh yeah, the positivity in, in life. Yeah, that's right. So in in the movie, this isn't breaking any any spoilers or anything. Um, but in the movie, um, that one of the characters in there, you know, was was a new soul and was experiencing it in a, in a new body. And they were just so happy and they tried to incarnate on Earth many, many times for thousands of years and they couldn't. And then they had this opportunity to incarnate and live. And the person who had many lifetimes was like, you know, what are you doing? Like, And then it made the, the new soul in that body like come upset. Like, well, I was just experiencing life. And they were so happy, like feeling things I hadn't felt before, experiencing things they'd never done. And, you know, it's, it's not saying that Disney are know the answer to life, but um, they really nailed it of like, it's important to be in the present all the time, like the present moment and enjoy the space, enjoy this time and to completely absorb in the moment and enjoy everything. You know, when you go out for a walk, like, are you in your head? You know, are you thinking of things or are you like rowing or are you like smelling the fresh air? You are feeling the wind, however cold or warm it is. You're hearing the rustle of leaves or the, the birds and you're hearing the wind. You're hearing or seeing children playing out, you know, on, in the, on the green, you know, playing football and or like partner, you know, to a couple holding hands as they walk and, and laughing and, and looking each other in the eyes as they walk or walking their dog and you see all these beautiful moments. And another favorite film of mine is called uh, The Peaceful Warrior, which was really beautiful. And you know, there's a few scenes in there where um, Socrates, um, one of the main char characters in, in the movie, was showing, I guess his like apprentice, you know, his Padawan, uh, his learner um like you know really look at life like what 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 can you see right now i guess there's nothing going on it's like you're not looking hard enough and then he has a look around and you know someone is there of being emotional someone's you know two people are kissing they're, they're, he's hearing the rustle of leaves and seeing a squirrel grow up the tree and it's just like you, you're just taking in life you know like what's going on in life what's happening right now and don't look at the news. I just have a quick look on like Google just to see news updates. If anything concerns me, I don't read anything. I just have a quick look to see, okay, what is going on right now? Because I've never done that. And I've always said to people that, you know, they always said to me in the past, like, why don't you watch the news? You need to know what's going on in life. And I always said that if it was really important, I would know because life would be different. And if I didn't look any at any news, I went into town and I saw people wearing masks and I spoke to somebody and they're like, whoa, whoa, don't come close. I'm like, what's going on? Then you know that way. So I don't like to be updated by, by the news. And a lot of it is, it's like entertainment for like the newspapers. They want to create these titles and different things to, to confuse people or to make something up that isn't true. I don't know. But anyway, um, as I said, the, the beautiful thing is that it may not seem like a gift right now, but use this time, if you are on your own, to really disempower yourself and to really be okay in your own space. Because in, in especially in relationships, that people who aren't happy with themselves have problems in relationships. And we all have traumas, we all have problems, but if you're not grounded and secure in yourself, then these things can come up in relationships. And even if you're in a relationship right now during the, the pandemic or lockdown, then it's a time for you both to work on yourselves together and each other and in power, you know, through meditation, through creativity, doing the things that you love doing. And if you don't have income right now, there are many things to do for free, you know, get a bit of paper, start drawing, meditate, just be creative or dance, keep active, be fit, learn about cooking, doesn't matter how, you know, you don't need a lot of money to, to make food, you know, fasting is another important subject as well. It's it's January at the moment, so vegan annuary. Um, so it's like pro promoting people to go more meat free. So enjoying the health benefits of, of 
going plant-based, which is a lot more cheaper, healthier for you. And if you're struggling right now, this is what I've learned over many years of, of going through like cleanses and health, is that your body is a tube. So it's like whatever you eat, you're digesting, you know? So it's like, look at how clean your life, your, your body is and then what you can make it to be clean because then your mind and your energy is then clean as well. And it's not only that, it's setting the space, you know, have this time to do a big sort out in your home, perhaps sell things on online that you don't, don't need anymore that somebody might need. Um, really clear the space, have a big sort out, um, have a little bonfire to, to burn things that you no longer need. Um, really have a time to do a, a nice clearing in your life and have this time for you to have a new energy for the next number of years ahead. And you will definitely look back on this time, these times of the coronavirus, of COVID-19, COVID-20, whatever is upon us, that this time right now has been a very empowering time. For me, it's made me content, even more happy with myself and like, I wouldn't say in love with myself, um, but like I feel content in my own energy, in my own space. And I always have, but it's been even more so now. I've been learning lots of Spanish, been learning lots of different things, having so much time for me and just my activities and routines. It's been a blessing. So just take time, you know, life is, you know, life, time is the currency of life and life is beautiful and just really right now people need hope and people need some somebody to look up to for help but if we can all look at each other then and help each other as an in individually ourselves then we can empower the whole world and this is the part of ascension this is a part of evolution that if we are to evolve as a species as humans as a planet as a society, as a consciousness, however you see us as a planetary consciousness that if we can all do our bit for ourselves only and also reach out to others, then we can make the world a better place. So right now, keep positive, keep, keep smiling, keep active. And if you're feeling those moments of negativity, loneliness, depression, mental illness, then reach out to somebody. No matter how embarrassing it may seem for you, just reach out and say, hey, I really need a friend right now. I'm feeling a bit lost, you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm on my own all the time. Just reach out. Someone out there is going to understand and someone most likely will have time for you. Don't put it on Facebook and announce it to everybody, but talk to people who you trust, who are going to pick you up and be there for you and reach out family don't forget about family we often can and the biggest help which i know has helped me in the past uh, five or six years ago when i have when i had my downfall emotionally and i was struggling after a relationship and i was very much on my own and was struggling uh i had a puppy a dog and it he helped heal me along that time so if you have the money, if you, if you definitely have the time, then get yourself a puppy, seriously. Um, and if you don't have the money, go and adopt one. Go and adopt a, a dog and, or a cat and have a companion with you. We all need a companion and I think life family isn't the same without an animal friend, a four-legged friend. So, do what is right for you don't make it happy for anybody else do what is right for you and just be positive and this these years ahead are going to be amazing no matter how bad things are right now things are going to get better but we have to all focus on ourselves and do our part and you know we're all going to get through this so thank you for watching um keep the faith be happy and I'll speak to you later. Goodbye.